Back at it. Hey. Another episode. Another motherfucking episode. Bill, I want to toast. God damn it, I feel good. I want to toast. Hey, man. You know, first of all, we're going to start off with the fact we're not drinking Steven Seagal today. Hey, man. Cheers to that. Stop. Steven Seagal is Steven still back Seagal here. Steven Seagal will whoop your ass. I'm gonna Steven say that right Seagal now. is back here. Steve is back there. We got it for you. But we not. We got we got uh Hen- Hennessy today and Monkey Shoulder. Yeah, Monkey Shoulder. Yeah, that's fresh out of um Thailand. That's fresh out of Thailand. That shit was imported over here. Yeah. That shit that shit got a sales tax. They got an import tax on that bitch. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you why I'm happy. Man, you know what? I could smell the human trafficking on this bitch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Billy, we're gonna cheers again. Yeah, what you got, man? I'm cheersing to life, man, and being able to just be up and Adam and the Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you a real quick story before we get going. Oh man. Go ahead, let it out, D. Billy, it was a group of kids. Well, they weren't kids, they were like young adults. Right. Between ages 20 and 25. Mm-hmm. It was nine of them. Nine kids. Nine of them. They all went on a vacation. Yeah. And they all been knowing each other since grade school. They've been knowing each other for a long time. Yeah. So they all come out and do this trip every year. So one time they were, one summer they were out and they decided to be more adventurous, mm. explore more. We're going to go further into the ocean. This is always about water. Their trip's always about water. Motherfuckers love water. Uh, it was, they were all white, by the way. This is very important. Got to be when you go on an open bodies of water like that. That's right, white and folks. You, right, and you got money to go coordinate your shit. That's, that's clearly some white shit. Yeah. So do you know what that is? That's the white. consistency let me know that. So they're going to be more risky. Swimming out a little further, right? Yeah. So Dusty is the leader. Dusty says, I'm going to go out way further into the ocean. Mm. Catherine said, Dusty, I don't think that's a good idea. Shut the fuck up, Catherine. Do what the fuck I want. Dusty, the leader. Dusty, he come from money. Right. Dusty come, Dusty come from money. Long line of money. Daddy right. had money. Yeah. Great-grandfather had money. Daddy, great-grandfather was a judge. Oh. You know what I mean? They got yeah. politics. They got, all, they got the whole thing. They sitting up. on deeds and all they type of that. shit. They got money. Yeah. Dusty like, fuck you, bitch. You run your mouth too goddamn much. I'm going out further. That's a really good swimmer, by the way. Great swimmer. What's his thing? Was it he was a breast, breaststroke guy? Breaststroke. Dusty was a breaststroke guy. Okay. Oh, Dusty was a hell of a breaststroke guy. As a matter of fact, he was a champion running three years in a row at the NSCC. SEC champion, swim champion of the year. Anyway, so Dusty's going out. He's not worried about what they're talking about. I'm a freestyle swimmer. I'm a breaststroke. I'm, I'm very proficient at the breaststroke. Yeah. So it's going out there. And Dusty. Kind of get caught in the wind. Mm. Tide takes him off. Yeah. Long story short, Dusty's gone. Dusty's missing. Oh man. For eight weeks. Dusty's missing for eight goddamn weeks. He's dead. Then a motherfucker, so they think. So they won't leave. They stay there. They make a bonfire. They stay there. They put up a. They sitting out bottles. SOS. SOS signs. They trying everything. So. Dusty's think everybody thinks Dusty's dead. Dusty ain't dead. Dusty got brushed off. He hit his head on the rock. Got brushed off on the side of the way. So now he's just trying to find his way back. Oh man! But Dusty was very, very proficient. See, he was a boy scout. Oh, he was proficient. Oh, the nigga knew water. Yeah. The nigga knew water. Man. So he sat there and he plotted the whole thing. Yeah. He knew the east is where he came from. Right. I don't he needed to travel back west. He put the whole thing together. He knew the longitude. He knew the latitude. Right. So he started swimming. He's swimming. He's on track. He knows he's on track. Yeah. He's swimming. Right. Six hours in that water. He can handle that. He's a pro. Swimming. You see a shark. Oh, shit. Dust is a goddamn shark. What do he do with the shark? He can't do shit with a shark. Shark bit the shit out of Dusty. Bit so, the nigga arm off. So he only got one arm he now. One motherfucker arm. We're still kicking off. I'm going to stop. Still going. That goddamn shark still in that bitch. Nigga still hungry. Nigga, you got my arm. You still hungry? Yes, motherfucker. Ha! What do you got? Get the nigga leg off. So now you got one arm. So now this nigga is, is shoulder swimming in that bitch. He's in that he's in bad position. He got right. blood. He got a trail of blood, obviously. Yeah, but listen, he can see that his friends are right there. They're close. Mm-hmm. They're close by. They don't see what's going on. Dusty see what's going on. Them motherfuckers see what's going on. Dusty still battling with that motherfucker. Shark. Ha! Bit both of that motherfucker arms out. So we got no arms, one leg. Uh. Shark, like, you know, I'm full, nigga. I'm good. I'm good, I'm full. Shark gone. Dusty, still not giving up, nigga. Kicking one with that one leg. One motherfucking foot. One motherfucking foot. 
They look up. They're like, wait, it's it's dusty. Mm. Catherine, bitch, crying. It's dusty. That, dusty. They pull him ashore. They can't believe he's that still his friend alive. is still alive. Man, this motherfucker is tough. He for tough. They crying. Dusty, dusty. Oh my gosh, we thought you were dead. Dusty, what happened to you? The shark bit me. I guess he wasn't fooling. He just kept biting me. He said, Dusty, we're so sorry. He said, Sam, I understand you're sorry. He looked him dead in the eye. He said, but Did, did you, you miss me? me? God, God damn, damn it. it. Yeah, hey, hey, you did. You I took me around the, you took around the way around the world. Dixon knew I was going with that. With Dusty, with his situation, boy, I you got Dusty hey, the man, world with you. you know. Nigga, you saw Tommy. What the fuck happened? Boy, you didn't hear this shit. <laughs> what happened with Tommy Davidson today? Let's get straight to it. All right, so I had a show. The moniker of our show. Did you miss me? So I had a show in Minneapolis, Minnesota, with Earthquake and Tommy Davidson. Mm. I've done shows with Tommy before, like I mentioned. And he hits me with the Vornail Hill pretty much every time. So I'm pretty much I'm sick of the shit. So what happened this time? I'm like, you know what? This, 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 he can't do it this time. So I'm in my room. Promoter called me. Hey, D, downstairs, 745. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right, cool. Tommy's going to meet us down there. We can walk right over to the venue. It's right indoors. Mm. Cool. Do you know Tommy? I said, yeah, I know Tommy. Okay, so you cool? We're walking over there. I'm like, yeah. Does Tommy know you? Yeah, yeah, we met. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I know him. All right, cool. 7.45, bam. Get on the hotel elevator. I go down to the lobby. I'm sitting in the lobby. Meet the promoter. What's up, man? Sitting there waiting on Tommy. Sitting there. I'm, I'm anticipating this shit. Right. I want to see what the fuck going to happen. You want to see what's going to happen? This going on too many goddamn times. Right. Bing! Nigga, here it come. Oh, you hype? Because you... Bing! Just... Nigga, I got hype. When I heard that, that, that elevator, nigga, I said, oh, shit. Come on down, nigga. <laughs> Door opened up. Walked up. And nigga, came, nigga, very Varnell Hillish. Very Varnell Hillish. We don't know why, but he Varnell Hillish today. Walked off. Him and his, him and his wife walked over. He shook the promoter hand. He walked over. He said, how you doing, man? Tommy Davidson. What's your name? <laughs> oh, shit. I said, oh. I looked at him like this. I said, delay. He said, oh, I'm sorry, man. Have we met before? I was like, yeah. Where? Don't do that. I said, uh, we met at Bill's birthday party. We met at remember Bill's birthday party. That's right. That's right. It was Bill's 50th. I was there. Remember that, honey? Yeah. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> what else, dog? I said, actually, we had a show uh, last summer at the BET Experience. Yeah, yeah. That was a hot show. That was a hot show. Yeah, man. Sorry, bro. Just don't remember, bro. Just don't remember, man. I'm like, all right, cool. But hey, man, looking forward to seeing you. Hey, little brother, looking forward to you rocking out, man. I'm like, all right, cool. Cool. We're walking. So we got like a maybe a four-minute walk. So we're walking, and he's talking to the promoter. I ain't saying too much. I'm just like, he's like, so, um, so delay. Is it like delay, or is it like, like, is it like, it's just delay? Okay. Um, <laughs> have you played Minnesota before? Nah, you, yeah, man, yeah, man, a few times, Minnesota, favorite team, man, Vikings, bro, love them, it's cold, man, it's cold, man, it's real cold, man, yeah, man, but looking forward to you, man, looking forward to seeing you, man, get to the venue, it's time to show time, the, the promoter says, hey, D, um, you mind if Tommy introduces you, I was like, yeah, that's cool, Tommy's like, hey, man, um, what do you want me to say? I was like, just, you know, just say that um, he has a new special coming out on Kevin Hart's new LOL network. Bro! <laughs> nah. Congratulations. It's good, man. It's good, man. Is your first? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> man. I remember my first special. I feel like this going bad. I remember my first special. So, yeah, yeah, man. All right, so anything else, bro? That's it? Okay, I said, whatever you want to put on top of it. Got you, bro. I'm going to hook that thing up for you, bro. Hook that thing up for you, brother. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. It didn't hit you with that ain't nothing but a G I'm realizing, I'm like, you know what? This is actually an extension of who he really is. Right. This ain't like no kid. This is who this nigga really is. Yeah. I go up. He doesn't know what I'm going to do. 
I go up and I told the DJ, just follow me. I'm going to stop you and I'm going to start you. Just follow me. I go up. Crowd is on fire. Right. I could see him standing because it's a big stage. We are in a, like a, a theater. Yeah. So I can see him on the side of the, st- the stage. I can see him in between the curtains. Yeah. He's standing. Right. I'm in there lighting these motherfuckers on fire. Tearing their ass out the frame. And it's the theater, so it's coming back loud. Bah, bah, bah. Y'all ready to get this show started? Yeah. Hey, come into the stage. Very funny guy. You see him on Living Color. You know him. You love him. Travels all over. Give it up for Tommy. Davidson. Yeah. Tommy comes out. You, me. I'm Tommy. Yeah. Introduce me. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now you've seen him on in living color you've seen him in the movie ace ventura you've seen him on a many many comedy shows deaf comedy jam comic view and here for you tonight coming to the stage give it up for tommy davidson bro what the fuck was that <laughs> <laughs> Like, how's everybody doing? Yeah! Because <laughs> I just destroyed this bitch. I was like, what the, what the fuck was that, bro? Right? So, Earthquake is up next. I tell Earthquake, I say, I'm going to go do five more minutes. And I'm going to up. All right, cool. Go back up. Tommy, good shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. I go back up, do five more minutes. Crushing them up. Now, at this point, I'm doing the bit where I'm the, the girl chewing the gum. Yeah. So I can sit down and I can see very good through my peripheral. I see you. I see you. Yeah. I see you sitting in the corner. You watching. Right. Right. I'm cracking this theater open because I'm sitting. I'm chewing the gum. And I see him at the peripheral. He's like. (laughs) I'm cracking these bitches open. Y'all ready for y'all headliner? Give it up for Earthquake. Come on stage. He said, bro. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're amazing, man. You're hey. amazing, man. You're amazing. I'm like, oh, thank you, man. No, man. Man, it was a pleasure to work with you, man. It was a pleasure. And he does not remember you. working with you. Not a clue. That's cocaine, not bro. That's cocaine. That's and I think that's all. He's also- not lying. He really don't fucking remember me. That's a lot of drinking you know, and a lot of coke. Like, he don't remember. So the end of the night is that. The show's over. Security is walking us back to the hotel. Do you we tell him about the, the podcast? We get to the, wait, we get to, get to the lobby. So I said, um, yeah, man, we do a, a podcast, man, called Did you, Did you Miss Me? He was like, yeah, man, that's good, man. That's good. So listen, maybe what we're going to do is. Man, we're gonna... <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. shit. He shit it over real quick. Real quick. So I was like, hey, man, um, fuck, I was like, hey, man, listen, you know, it was a, it was a pleasure. Dad, one more time. I said, Dad, I said, man, listen, it was a pleasure working with you. Hey, no, man, no. It was a pleasure working with you. And turned and walked away. <laughs> and stopped. I said, hey, man. As he walked away, I said, yeah, man. We definitely got to do it again. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> we will. Trust me. We will. And spin the world. I was like, this nigga is really motherfucking Vardy here. Yeah. But I, I, I threw it out there when the shit is on. I was like, oh. Man. You know what's this fuck with it? Yeah. Fuck. I don't want to twist it. You know what I mean? Maybe one day. One day, one day, we yeah. will get him on You're here. On fire, bro! You are on fire. Wow, man, that's you a look lot. Like big clams, bro. Hey, man, look, you know, I hope when I get to that level of doing it for that long a time, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. He's just, it's, he's older. He's definitely know. older. That nigga, it ain't even. That nigga had a comedy special in '85. Yeah, nigga, he was doing DC in 85, 85 to 88, nigga. On T, nigga, HBO. He was hot, though, man. Man, that, hey, I watched him, hot. I watched him play the piano, tap dance, do poetry, sing. sing. Everything. Tom, it was the first person I ever seen in person named Sammy David Jr. Nail it. Nail it. He used to have this bit where he was talking about cereal, like how the cereal, all the, all the cereal done got black, because that's who they advertising to. Right. And he was like, got my sugar crisp. Sugar, yeah, nigga, that shit used to kill, bro. Right. He's As musical. a kid, I was like, yo, he killed it. Because he's doing everything, he's doing everything in that set. He's singing, he's dancing, he's being funny, he's acting, he's doing every goddamn thing. And cocaine. And it's and <laughs> a lot of cocaine. <laughs> it's cocaine. 
Hey, would, you date a, would you date a lady that did cocaine? I when have. When you met her, she started doing cocaine. Like when you met her, she was already on the shit. Yeah, I. And both. Let me give you both scenarios. You met her, she was already on it. You got with her, she started fucking with it and then liked it. I've dealt but with. She still function. I I've dealt with both. I've dated somebody who wasn't doing cocaine and then started doing it, and I dated somebody who's fully functional. Out, just right. Yeah, I I made some decisions in my life, man. Wait a minute. What is so you was with a cokehead? Yeah, I'm gonna call it a crackhead. I'm gonna just because it just it's just right. I'm gonna just it's a it's a it's nice. a they get mad when you say that because they be like, well, you just don't know shit. Okay, but well, here's the deal. They don't. Can you make crack with it? Y- you could. Are you partaking of it? Am I partaking in the cocaine Not with them? You, but I'm talking about them. Like, can you make crack out of the cocaine that they snort? Oh, I, I'm saying if you have cocaine, of course you can. That's my point. So if you can make that into crack and you smoke it or you snort it, it's I don't care what you call it. It's crack. You're a crackhead. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, if that's the case, if we're going to go there, I guess I'm a crack addict for popping pills and doing other no, shit. No, it's different. No. <laughs> crack override everything. Pills, oh, nigga, you had a headache, so you took five. Yeah. Serve oh nigga, so look, you might catch a cold one day. You just prevented ahead of time. Yeah, that's uh, that's deep, man. I, I'm, so, were you in love with them? It was a relationship, or it was like a sex sex thing? I mean, it's always sex, but the the, the relationships they differ. One chick was just like, this is what it was. You know how you think you found the person that you know you're gonna be with, mm. and then all of a sudden y'all talking one day, and then it's like, oh yeah, well I've done cocaine before, and you were like, bitch, what when the fuck you was gonna tell me this? I was working on a perfect time. Yeah. Then it was like, yeah, well, we did this, and then she gave me a line, and I'm just like, all right, well, there goes that. This is, I mean, I judged her the whole day. <laughs> I definitely did. Then I just started feeling like her morals just wasn't strong enough. Like, yeah. I was younger, so I didn't really know. And then the, the second shit, she was just doing cocaine. But you know how you see, like, you so fine. Maybe this just what I need to do. She told she me, she's like, Oh yeah, I definitely gave it. It wasn't a pass. It yeah. was she had it. Whatever it was her world. I gave her the keys to the car. Whatever you want to do. She was that fine. You, you see a girl, she she was like, you know, I mean, the thing is, if I just can do some coke and I just want to suck some dick. Where's the coke? <laughs> Who got the coke? Who got it? What? I put forty dollars in on an eighty eighty dollar purchase, dog. I gotta tell you a story, man. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Remind, remind me to tell you a story about cocaine. I'm gonna tell, tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you. Fuck, I got a cocaine story. <laughs> nah, nigga, look, man. Oh, t- and so, and it got to the story. point. It got to the point where it was just like, she was fine. I was with it. Cause, 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 let me tell you what's gonna happen. When somebody got a drug problem like that, they're gonna need your money. It ain't like you're not gonna, you gonna support it. Yeah. Cause they hit you with it slow. Yeah. We'll be riding. They be looking what's at. The first, how the first one sound? Hey, it's, the first one was like, oh, we just gonna step over here. I gotta see my friend right quick. I gotta get some from him. I was like, all right, cool. So we riding in the car. Nice big truck, Range Rover. I'm in the passenger seat, riding, sitting back. I got my shades on. I'm looking out the window, riding past the Galleria, thinking about how niggas going to really, I'm really wanting niggas that's passing me by to see me with this bitch. Like, I'm trying to be seen. I got the window down. <laughs> I'm, I'm all out the window, because that's how fine she is. Right. I'm, you know, you see boy. What's up, boy? Hey, yeah, you I'm not. You don't even fuck with him like that. Yeah, but me and baby just out here rolling around. Like baby, that. say what's up. Yeah, me and this nigga with the junior baby, high. Right. You, you, you never spoke to that nigga junior high. You just wanted that nigga to go back and tell I somebody. I wanted him to I say. I seen that nigga Billy mm-hmm. with a bad bitch in a Range Rover. Riding around. He was going to be your Twitter nigga. He was going to retweet. And you know what happens, dog? Let me tell you, as fate would have it. It's always somebody that see me doing some exotic shit. It's always somebody that ain't got no business being there that just pop up like, yo, my nigga, you know, right. that's that's what's happening. So this one particular day, she was like, yeah, I'm going to see my friend. I'm going to get something from him. I'm good. He pulls up. The car pulls up. I'm like, okay, this exchange finna happen. He walks over to the car. She give him, She's like, oh, um, she thumbing through her billfold. And I'm, I'm looking at the corner of my eye. I see she only got $40 in right. there. Did you ain't slick. How much is it? 60 Baby, you got another 20 on you? Like, God damn. Shit. Shit. I'm paying for this bitch habit. Shit. I gave that 20, though. I'm like, here. Here go that 20. It's going to make her feel better. Then I start trying to equate, well, I would have probably bought some weed or some liquor with this. So, I mean. Justify it, his it, contribution it, to the coke habit. Hey, man. So, I, I gave her that dub, man, and shit. She was fine, dog. Went to the club. She was like, I got a powder on my nose. I'm like, all right. 
I know when powder my nose means she wanna grab my dick and, and start playing with me in the in in the club. In the club. But you yeah. like that. Oh yeah, it was with so it. You don't mind that powder nut nose. Nah, 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 yeah. nah, 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 nah. It was just a fact that like I don't know if it was the cocaine or she just really liked me, but she made <laughs> some of the best noises I've ever heard. Yeah. She just she talked to me like like women don't know how they make you feel like hard having sex with a silent person dog that just yeah. you like i'm not you none of this is doing nothing to you nah she oh my god oh my oh oh let it wait give it a break give it a oh fuck give i need break hey oh let, nigga let me let give me, it a break you know what that does to yourself esteem? listen she she leaned her head out the bed Crawled over and grabbed the water and was drinking the water with two hands. With two hands like this. Like a slave. <sighs> yeah, like a slave. <sighs> I want some more, but I can't take it. Yeah. <sighs> hey, and this move right oh, here. Oh, that gets you. I want hey, some more, but I can't Watch his hand. She did this. <sighs> oh, nigga. Give up. <sighs> hey. Give up for him. Man, let me tell you something. I couldn't. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do with that. I'm 24 years old. I'm. I'm going. I'm running them up. And it, and it, and it just got to the point. And then I'm gonna tell you who cracked it open was my old man. I he she was over my house, and I had this thing where if I didn't really fool with you like that, I wasn't really trying to bring you around my daddy because my daddy he he got a lot of questions, and all his questions got more questions, and usually the questions come with a statement that he gonna make after question number two. <laughs> So his first question ain't gonna never be a question that's normal. Like you know, you meet somebody like, like be be the girl and be I'm be my daddy. Hey. Oh okay, good to see you, Mr. Sorrells. How you doing? You um, you have a good day today. Oh, I'm fine. Are you okay? Oh uh, yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, that's good. Got to take care of yourself. Got your alley cat over here, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right there, what you can hear, bro. Hey, whenever my daddy tell me I'm dealing with a woman I don't need to, you call them alley cats. Hey, boy, got you, got you a straight, follows you home, huh? <laughs> I what you mean, nigga? I say you don't see this. Hey, I also see how our nostrils is opened up on the inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like I grew up in the sixties and seventies, nigga. She ain't got no nose hair. That mean one or two things. She got a good shaver, or she blowing that powder up there. And he tried, and he tried her, bro. He hit her with that. Hey, you got something in your nose? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Big babies, there's something in there? I was oh, like, oh, shit. shit. Uh, yeah. Fail. She's like, she going in there. She's snorting and shit. Uh, my old man just like, hey, hey. All right. It's a lot of fun. Till she get fucked up around here. <laughs> it's all good till somebody missed their period. Then your life fucked up. <laughs> I was like, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that just how you want to take it. Man, I had another girl, man, that, that had a drug problem. But she also had a drug problem, and she permit she was freak she frequented going back to a, a uh I'm not gonna say st a stud she would go back and deal with the stud. A bitch had a bitch. A, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and and this one was bad. The bitch was a, abusive. The stud bitch was abusing her, and so she would tell me about it, and I was like, man, show me, because in my head I'm thinking you gotta have a, a set it off Queen Latifah Cleo type to just right. it's a little bitty bitch. It's little five butch? foot seven, butch? little stud, light skin right. bitch that that used to hoop for Jones. I'm like, she left handed, or right handed, left handed, I little lefty, that bitch left handed. Lefty. I don't know why I figured that bitch lefty, bunch of tattoos and shit, and I'm don't like, mind fight, this this who you this who you tripping off of? So as fate would have it, as fate would have it, she called me over one day. I go over there to go see her. I'm hanging out, I'm chilling. She's like, I just don't want you to leave. I was like, Why don't you want me to leave? Why, why, why are you freaking out? She's like, I just, something's going on. I just meet you here. I feel safe with you here. So we kick it the whole day inside. She ordered a pizza. We sitting there watching movies. We're going through Redbox, flipping DVDs in. It's cool. She laying on my, on my lap, head on my lap, and falls asleep. I hear probably maybe 10 minutes after she sleep. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, this dough getting hit. There's got to be a nigga 6'4 out here. Right. I'm like, hey, somebody at your dough. Cause you know, you, I'm cool. I'm not finna jump up and run to your dough. I don't do that. It's your dough. It's your dough. Right. If you leave that motherfucker out there, or you open it. She was, I don't wanna, I don't wanna open. I said, it's cool. We ain't gotta open it. Then I hear keys. Come on. 
coming in this bitch. Door opened up. I said, hey, somebody coming in with some keys. Man, this little bitch come in this corner and turn around. So you ain't hear me calling you? And then she freeze and see me. So I stand up. I stand straight up. Right. And I don't know if that's the tallest I ever felt in my life. Right, yeah. I'm towering over this bitch. And so old girl is standing behind me. She's like, I didn't answer because you're crazy. And so the, the stud is sitting there. She's like, but you see me calling you, though. So you over here. You got this nigga over here. You give a fuck about you. I say, hey, I'm going to knock your bitch ass out. <laughs> I'm going to be too many more of this nigga. Right. I'm going to knock your bitch ass out. I fuck both of y'all. I'm on some reckless shit. So keep fucking with me. Your pussy gonna get played with. You gonna get knocked out. Ah, this nigga talking reckless to this hey, nigga bitch. Hey, I, I, I got to, cause I don't know if she got a razor, a knife. I'm talking bad. I say, man, keep playing with me, bitch. Both of y'all gonna be pregnant tonight. I'm gonna knock you out. Um, you gonna be pregnant. Now fuck, fuck with me if you want to. Oh, bro, oh, bro, nah, nah. Well, see, you that's neutralized y'all. Then you I, neutralized. Yeah, yeah. Then dick. I had to tell her. You neutralized the shit out of that dyke with that <laughs> dick. Now, can you say one more thing? Watch this dick go deep up in your pussy. <laughs> but Billy. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, it was at that moment. Then I had to go on a PSA, but no, no, that's what y'all do. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all make it hard for us. Right. They killing us out here. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to downgrade uh, who I am. They killing us out here. Then I hit it with the, you want to be me. You can't be me, bitch. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did. It's a form, I guess it's a form of cocaine. Uh, ecstasy. Oh, it's cocaine in that. Gotcha. Name another deal. pill. Uh, that's all I took. That's that's all I took. Just name another one, though. This nigga got a trade. That's all you took, nigga. Name something else, cause I got a trophy full of shit. That I did. Molly no. got got cocaine Hold in on. that. Molly. You took Molly or you took ecstasy? Two. I took both of them. But, but let me get to the ecstasy. Oh, you first. definitely got some crack in you. It made me cheat. I'm gonna put it on the ecstasy first. I cheated, cause I wouldn't have done this in my right mind. Go to the casino. You in the casino, delay? It's something I'm, about I'm, that. I'm in Vegas. I'm motherfucking wild. <laughs> I'm in hey. these goddamn streets. Doing what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. Comp rooms and Gambling everything. Gambling my ass off. And I don't play no motherfucking $20. I'm in that bitch going for, I want the goddamn cage. Goddamn it. <laughs> Give me the goddamn casino cage. I play for that. Some of these niggas, I just win the $300. Get your bitch ass out of these white folks' casino. I want the goddamn, I want a part of the goddamn casino. That's how I gamble. You got a problem, bro. So, I mean, That's I too. Problem. Oh, I had a dangerous problem. We don't get to the problem. Oh, we gotta tell me, we'll get to the problem. So I'm in there, and I go down. I'm like, down 2000 so I'm pressing hard. Wait, wait, nigga. You down 2,000 American dollars? U.S. dollars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gambling. You got to keep in mind, I'm a blackjack dealer already. I hear you. And I got my VIP company. So I got money. I got money in this bitch at this time. At this time. Delay, I'm with you, bro. I'm in there. I said I'm going to just press hard because I ain't got time to be in here all day. My homeboy is waiting on me at the strip club. I don't even want to fuck with strip clubs like this. So I start pressing, pressing, winning, winning, winning. I get up twenty thousand dollars. Wait, wait, wait! You get up twenty. You get up twenty. I'm up twenty racks. And you don't walk out the club. I get my money. Go to the cage. Get my twenty bands. I got my twenty on me. Call my fellas. Hey man, on my way to the club. Now I got one of my friends is a pimp. But, um, all of us are doing something illegal. <laughs> but it's our crew. But we, you know, we we, we cool. Small crew, we cool. We yeah. get there. You do that, nobody go to jail. Nobody go to jail. Nobody go to jail. So we in the strip club, and I'm like, uh, I'm in that commercial just drinking and looking at ass. I don't really want to feel I'm one of them niggas that are like, nigga, I can get her without. If she wasn't in this bitch, I get, I'm that nigga. If she would, if this motherfucker was in the mall, I'd get her. Just because she on that pole, I can't say shit to her. And I'm like, I'm that dude, but I still give you a couple of dollars. Right? Pimp friend said, AD, you come back from the bathroom, I got something for you. All right, nigga, whatever. I go to the bathroom, come back. He got this bad ass Asian chick with him. I got a girl. She I see with, the Asian is, she, chick. is she with you or is she she not? My there? girl's not there. Okay. She she in the world. She not there. I see the chick. I'm like, God damn, this bitch is bad. And let me tell you what it felt like. It felt like it was the devil 
saying, I got one of my bitches, nigga. You can't turn down. <laughs> I'm going to see how godly you are. And I'm about to put one of my bad bitches on. Is the, what, now, where does the narcotic in your system? There yet. I don't even know nothing about the drugs. So you already on edge without the narcotic. I'm just drinking liquor and I'm elated because I got 20 bands in my motherfucking pocket. All courtesy of the motherfucking casino. Oh, man. So I'm living life, nigga. This, this can't be a good story. To Look how I'm leaning way. right now. This can't end good. It won't. This came. I said, how you doing? She introduced herself. I'm like, wow, okay, cool. She said, hey, let's go to the VIP room. I said, hold on, boo-boo. Don't even roll like that. Don't even get down with the VIP room. She said, I don't want you to pay nothing. I just want to come to the VIP. I want to talk to you. I'm like, okay, cool. We go in there. I ain't told. She don't know what I got in my pocket. I'm really flexing. When you got the money in the strip club, you, you got that a nigga. When you know you got the money, when you know you got enough to just blow, you can be talking to a bitch. Bitch, what? What? Ask me. What? <laughs> you could be that nigga in the club, right? So I ain't that dude. I'm just, I'm like, let's see what's conversation. We talking, we laughing and talking. She was like, what do you do? I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a comedian. She said, oh, you're a comedian? Yeah, yeah. I'm a blackjack dealer. You're a blackjack dealer? Yeah. But so we talking. She said, you know what? Yeah. Let's get out of here. I was like, where you want to go? She was like, let's go to such and such casino. It was the same casino I just finished God gambling at. damn. I said, you know what? Yeah, let's go back. No, late guy. She said, listen, we got to stop by my house Fuck. first. I want to get, I'm going to just go change. I need to get a couple of things. And listen, how about let's just make this a night? Let's just kick it all night. I was like, cool, I'll just get a room at that casino. I just slapped them, knocked them motherfuckers across the head for 20 bands. They can give me a suite. So I called the motherfuckers. I said, hey, y'all want y'all money back? Yeah, I need a suite. Yeah, I'll give y'all a chance to get it back. Yeah, put that suite out there. Yeah, put some champagne in that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm wildin'. <laughs> it's me, the young nigga that was on the table early. They got y'all for that hot 20. Now keep in mind, it's a casino. They ain't tripping on 20. Not Vegas casino, they ain't, they ain't tripping on that. But I'm flexing on them. Hi, uh, D, uh, Mr. D, we, we got your suite. And uh, I said two bottles of, I had two bottles of Cristal in that bitch. I'm finna, I'm finna shine. Eli. I'm about to show this goddamn stripper bitch. You know what's fucked up? Good time. I, I can't even take this story because I'm living this with you right now. And I'm, I'm, oh, yes. I want a time machine I, to listen, go back to tell you not to go in you, there. I, I need you, nigga. I need you. Shit. So I said, man, this is what I'm going to do. I said, listen, let's go have a little dinner. We sitting talking shit. She said, you ever did X? And I was like, nah. Sound like a good time. She was like, I'm telling you, it's the best time of your life. And I was like, I'm already having a motherfucking blast. <laughs> so whatever this is. You go here, bitch? <laughs> let's I go. I was like, where is that? This bitch pulled out a bucket full of the motherfuckers. This motherfucker. <laughs> Pocket full, a purse full of these motherfuckers. I was like, you manufacture these motherfuckers, bitch? She said, here. It's going to kick in a little later. You, you don't know what I mean. I'm like, all right, cool. I get it. I ordered steak. She ordered her shit. Champagne again. We got the 20 bands. Keep in mind, I'm not paying for this meal. Casino paying for this. This is all in the house. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm big time. I'm really big time. She said, um... What are you gonna do next? I said, I'm gonna go play a little bit more. I'm gonna win like 20 more thousand. <laughs> cause I'm lucky, clearly. And I feel good, cause that motherfucker's starting to tingle. At this point, that motherfucker's tingling. Mixing that motherfucker's champagne. I'm I'm I said, first off, I'm gonna go get another 20,000. I said it like they was just gonna be sitting there waiting for me to get there and be like, here go your 20,000. Like, I said hey. it like that. Yeah, you. She said, are oh, you sure you wanna play on the bitch? I'm not sure. I said, listen, I, I got this. You know, I'm a dealer. Can I say something real mm -hmm. quick? Uh, for any ladies that's out here that's working in the strip club, oh, yes. and uh, you dancing and you want to get off early, mm -hmm. and s just make a night out of your night. Absolutely. Just let you know, you can give us a call three two three three eight five nine seven three four. We'll get somebody over there to you. We will get some. I promise we're gonna get somebody over there to you. Keep going. So I'm in there, and I said, you know, I'm gonna go to this goddamn table. I went to the table. I said, I'm not gonna be here long. I'm gonna get my twenty thousand fast. Yeah. Bam! Get 11. You know anything about blackjack? Get 11. You, 
I don't give this how I play. I play very aggressive. You split them. You split so that. 11, first of all, you can't split 11, nigga. Uh, you That's split. a five and a six. How the fuck you? What casino no, I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in? sorry. Where you can split a five and a goddamn six and say, hey, man, let me start over. <laughs> I'll put another card on that five. They're put on six. No, 11, you're going to double down on 11. So Dup, yeah. I got $1,000 up. I got a five and a six. I don't care what the fuck the dealer got. I'm doubling on 11 because I'm an aggressive player. Bam, I got $2,000. Bam, put my card face down. I don't want to see it. I'm one of them superstitious players. Put my shit face down. I don't want to see it. I'm playing two hand, double deck blackjack, pitch blackjack. Put my shit face down. I don't want to see it. Dealer turn over a card. Bam, bam. Dealer has 20. I'm like, okay, 20. Turn over that motherfucking face card and let me celebrate this bitch. Bam, bitch turned over an eight. I said, ooh, fuck. Write down 2000 Fuck it. Bet 2000 She was like, you sure you want to do this? Bitch, I'm done. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bam, it's $2,000. Bam, bam. Just give me another 11 Keep in mind, I don't give a fuck what the dealer got. I'm doubling on that bitch. I'm aggressive. Bam, she's like, wow, you like, you really play that aggressive. I'm going to decide, nigga, that ecstasy is deep in my system. Shit. I think I can win anything. Mike fucking up. There you go. Good to go? At this point, the ecstasy is deep in my system. I think I can do any goddamn thing. I'm feeling good. Double down on that $2,000 double down. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Put my shit face down. Bam. Did a turnover. Solid 20. My shit. Bam. Turn over a 3. 14. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost 6000 motherfucking dollars. Get out. I got 14000 oh, motherfucking shit. dollars. She said, hey, babe. How about we just go upstairs and like you know, unwind for a little bit? I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Get I'm out, D-Lay. One D-Lay. more hand, no bitch. One more ah! hand. 4,000. 4,000. I played 4,000. I said, listen, I'm going to either get 18 or I'm going to just be down just 10. Put the 4,000 up. Shit. Bam. God. 20. I'm sitting on a 20. Dealer got a face card up. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. The worst could happen. Shit, she probably wouldn't push. She look under that motherfucking mirror. Dealer has a blackjack. Bitch, where did you get it from? <laughs> oh, I'm sick. And I said, oh, God, that one hurt. She said, babe, let's go. Fuck it. Let's go. I'm walking. And this I'm walking. hurt. Now, I feel mind. like I lost that 20 with you. I haven't seen my girl all day long. I've been at the strip club. And you had 20000 I've been gambling. I had $20,000. I'm on ecstasy. I'm fucking lit. I'm fucking gone. I'm going back up to this hotel room. I'm going to fuck the shit out of this woman. Some of it's going to be frustration. Some of it's going to be pleasure. Man, this is deep, dog. This is hurting me, now. I'm going up there. I'm being this open. I can be this open because I'm single. Yeah, I know, man. It's- Get up to my hotel room. We got the crystal in there. I said, get naked. Took off everything. And she did it all seductive. It was like, like I said, the devil. Like, how could this be so right? <laughs> so fuck is taking off, and she's doing everything right. Music is playing, big ass sweet. I'm sitting in this motherfucker, like Tony Montana, in the restaurant when he was fucked up at the end of the night. I got a big bottle of motherfucker. I ain't got nothing on but a motherfucking towel. I got my motherfucking bottle of this motherfucker. You out there? You I'm be- in this motherfucker. I feel like a king, nigga. I still got ten thousand. You got ten thousand? I still got ten thousand on me. And how much you went to the club with the start with? But it's in chips. Oh. Oh. That's bad. Which means I got another good, a good chance of going back down there and playing some more. But I got 10 right now. So I'm sitting there, and she just dancing. I'm just sitting there. She dancing. I'm pouring on me. Nigga, I ain't I'm Steve. I'm Steve Francis is myself. Nigga, I'm, I'm Steve Francis myself. We be all night. Uh. I'm having a goddamn blast. Let me tell you how wild it is. Get a knock at the door. Bop, bop, bop. This is me. I'm big time. Baby, go get that. I don't have no clothes. Exactly. Baby, go get that. <laughs> Walk over to the door. We, I forgot we had all the room service. I'm, I'm fucking on ecstasy, nigga. I'm ordering every goddamn thing. They coming in with room service. This nigga is shocked. He said he looking at this bad bitch. This nigga on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> he's seeing this shit on the clock. And, and he's seeing all his body. He's seeing it all. And she bad, nigga. She's bad. Let me describe her real quick. She's black and... That's enough. <laughs> and Korean. 
Berean. Long, beautiful hair. All her shit. Long, beautiful hair. Fake titties. Flat ass stomach. Hips. And a fake ass. The ass is fake. It was the first time I ever experienced a fake ass. But it didn't matter. It looked good. <laughs> yeah. If you look like this and you listen to this podcast, what can you do? give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. I promise you. Yeah. We, we promise. We're going to get somebody. Hold tight. So the goddamn uh, wait, waiter boy is in there and he's shocked. Mm. Right? He walk in. He see it. He's like, uh, I said, brother, come on in and close the door. I'm laying in the bed. I got my towel on. A bottle of Cristal in my arms. I said, baby, stop. Turn around for him. Let him look at it. <laughs> he looking at it. I said, you like that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck, man, you're lucky. Gosh, man. I said, yeah. Sign that motherfucker. Gave that motherfucker a $100 tip. Man. He said, man, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> It's gonna be the best day of mine too, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. So we get out of there. We enjoy we enjoying life. We enjoying life. I talked to this bitch for nine hours straight. Yeah, that's the it. sun came up. You never did that. Never. And then I said, let me go take a shower. It's like when I took a shower, I came to my senses. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? You've been up for nine. I looked at my phone. 37 missed calls. <laughs> I said, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're done. Oh, my God. It's going to fucking You're done. kill me. You're done. I'm going to die. You're done. Nigga, you know that feeling when you done fucked up and you just realized you fucked up? Oh, shit. What did I do? I'm mad at this bitch. I was like, what did you do? <laughs> Why? I'm mad at this bad bitch. What did you do? You did it. She was like, what do you mean? We had a great time. I was like, you ruined me. <laughs> Just got me talking like I'm on Knox Landing or some shit. You, you ruined, you ruined me. <laughs> she was like, no, we had a good time. Yeah, hey, she, she, hey, she had you fucked up. You fucked your life up, boy. Fuck me up. That's what cocaine So I said, listen, I'm going back. You know, I, I'm going, I got to go talk to my girls. Yeah, right. Get there. My girl's like, where the fuck you been? Clearly, where the fuck you been? I was like, I'm going to come clean. I was cheating. She said, I knew it. I knew you was motherfucking cheating. Call a bitch right now. Tell the bitch the shit is over. Cool. Go through the shit. Hey, listen. The shit is over. This is what it was. It's a wrap. Cool. And as long as you tell me you ain't fuck with the bitch no more, we can move on. I ain't fuck with the bitch no more. Cool. Week go by. Every day I'm thinking about this bitch. <laughs> Every day I'm thinking about this bitch. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Whenever you make that promise, whenever you make that promise to say you're not going to fuck with oh. him no more, it's like it's like Satan's like, send more thoughts. I said, I said, bro, Release the cracking of thoughts. It's out there, Billy. I say every day, bro. And listen. I would look at her phone. She would call sometimes. Oh, so man. Hard. And she would leave up and say, hey, babe, I was just calling to tell you I miss you. And I know you said don't call, but I can't help but think about that night. I'm like, me too, bitch. Me too. <laughs> Fuck. I'm out one night drinking. Nah. Phone ring. Her. It's her. Shit. Nigga, I answered that bitch on the first ring. Three. Hey! <laughs> Shit. What's up? Damn, I missed you. Yeah. Two, babe. Shit, where you at? Where are you? I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Let's meet halfway, bitch. However. Meet up. As soon as I see it. She said, I got that happy pill. I said, give it here. <laughs> bitch, give it here. Bam. Oh, nigga. Y'all back at it. Nigga, you like a crack right. at it. Nigga, we back at it like a crack at it, nigga. We in there. We having a good time. She said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it, and we're going to stay at my place tonight. i never forget. I just bought a brand new phone. I was like, yeah, I took my phone out. I put that motherfucker phone. I was like, it was, a, it was a little, one of them, it was it was a bullshitter. It was, a, it was one of them, it was a bullshit, like a Samsung. It was an Android, whatever it was, Android. Mm. Sit down, right? So, 
she was like, I'm going to put my dog out, and, you know, I'm going to take a shower. And by the time I get out of the shower, you should be ready. That means this pill going to be kicked in. So I'm like, cool. Nigga, I get that motherfucker, nigga. I'm in this motherfucker just dancing. And that motherfucker, nigga, ain't, ain't no music on, nigga. It's just me. And that motherfucker. <laughs> Having a nigga, having a nigga, blast nigga, up in that the moment. Dog looking at me like this dumb ass nigga. I mean, they having a blast, nigga. Come out. We talk. We always talk. I don't know what it is about that goddamn drug that make your ass talk. Molly and X will make you talk and tell. Molly will make you have epiphanies about things you need to do with your life, nigga. Yes. It make you call people. That's, tell listen, them you love them. That's this. Let me sit now together. She said. I know you got a girl. I understand that. But look, we love each other. This is our, this is our second time Ooh. ever seeing each other. Ooh. This is our second Ooh. time and ever And it's all, for, 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 you, for you guys that's at home, I'm pausing the story. This is the true life of fucking with bad bitches. They always love you fast. <laughs> Quickly. I ain't never heard a bad one that took a long time because they know what they want. They've been turn, turning niggas down yeah, all dude. week. Every day, <laughs> they gonna tell you right off when they they know. They know. That's why she called you. Keep going, bro. Nigga, this is normal. Go ahead. She said, "Listen, this is what this is what I want to do." Yeah. I want to be your lady. Mm. Now she is putting herself. Talking, I was like, "Nigga, we talking," and I said, "Yeah, I want you to be my lady." Man, D, you got D. Please tell me you got an Instagram. <laughs> Can I just need I to? I had to disattach myself when you said I first tell you. Oh, just hear me, hear me. So, she says, "Well, listen, I'm not gonna stop seeing you. I know you told my girl, I told you, girl, I went along with it, but I can't. I need you in my life." And I was like, "I need you too. I've only seen her twice. <laughs> tell this bitch I need her." Right? We sat there, man. I mean, and I said, "She said, will you make love to me?" I said, "Absolutely. Yes." Nigga, mm. we going at it. We going at it all night. I can go. You are a machine on that drug. A machine. Oh, fellas. If War you machine. Chance, if you get a chance or if you need that drug and you're trying to put that dick on a call it at 323. 3 We'll get somebody over there to you. We'll get somebody over there to you. We'll get somebody over there to you. So we having a blast. Wake up, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah. It's 11 o'clock. I said, oh, my gosh. You done did it again? I did it again. I said, why did you do this? She said, why do you always blame me? This is our love. I was like, you still on it? I'm back, bitch. I'm back. What are you talking about love? Because you, you come back. You be you back to yourself now. You And you and, and you aggressive on pulling your life together. Aggressive. So I said, I'm out of here. I said, listen, we can't do this no more. She said, just listen, spend time with your girl. We'll talk about it later. I get back home. It's noon when I get home. My girl said, hey, what you want to do? Mm. Do you know how open that question is? What you want to do? What you want to do? I ain't seen her. I know what I've been doing. I don't know what she been doing. And she said, what you want to do? I'm like, what you talking about? Come on now. I'm like, this bitch ain't going to give me no kind of goddamn clue either. Mm -mm. She said, listen, so you love that bitch, apparently. I was like, what you talking about? I'm stupid. She said, listen, where were you last night? I'm like, what you mean? I ain't had nothing. I just had nothing. To my you just yelled. What you mean? She was like, look. Just tell me the truth. Were you with that bitch? I was like, man, come on. I ain't saying no. I ain't saying you ain't saying shit. She said, let me just go and stop everything. Your phone, you need to learn how to work it. Because it was on the whole time. <laughs> Show me the motherfucker. It was still running 16 motherfucking hours. <laughs> this bitch kept the phone on for 16 motherfucking hours. She said, I heard everything, and the bitch got a dog. I said, you, I wanted to call the company and say, you motherfucker. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I clearly, 
it's still running. So she's heard everything. So I said, she heard me tell that bitch I love her. And I need her. I'm like, oh, shit. Here it come. So you love this bitch and you need her? I said, I'm going to have to open up to her. <laughs> I said, we got to try this drug together. Listen, I promise you, this shit is amazing. I promise you. Wait till, wait till you try it with me. Wait till you try this. Stuff. Listen, she got some extra ones. I'm going to go over there today and get, get some and bring them back to you. I did. I did that. I know it sounds like a joke, nigga. On my life, nigga, this happened. You gave the drug to your girl. Got it. Take it. I said, we're going to take it at night. It's always good to take it at night. It was dark and shit. Took it. Mm. Then we sit there. We got a room. Sit there, and she was like, okay, cool. It's cool. It's whatever. Then after a while, she was like, what is it about this bitch? Uh, she got on that pill and yeah. got to ask me about that like, shit. Uh, I'm it too. So the truth coming out. Ooh, ooh. She's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you. Hey, right, it's bad idea. <laughs> but here's the deal. She on the shit too, so she can respect my honesty. I understand. Like, is, she, is she? I was like, yeah. She said, what is it about her? I said, we just had the best conversations. Not like ours. Like our stuff is like, you know what I mean? You know, she can never replace you, but it was just like, it's just. And she said, you know what? I don't like this shit. It's like her pills start changing. Like her pills start reverse. She was like, call that bitch right now. <laughs> Tell that bitch it's over. I was like, we were supposed to be happy and share stories together. No, nah, no. Nah. Nigga, I got to call this motherfucker. It can, it can roll like that, bro. Nigga, watch this. Get on the phone. On the phone, right? She said, no, put it on speaker. I'm like, oh, fuck, bitch. Ugh, but I feel good. <laughs> I ain't that mad. I kind of feel good. I think it's going to go right for me. So I get it. And I'm, nigga, I'm mollied up, nigga. My girl mollied up. Call. I don't mind this phone call. Ring. Hey, babe, I just popped one. Oh, my gosh. You did too? Ooh, bitch, you better sit down for this. <laughs> I said, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, my girl's right here. And I just told her that, you know, what happened, and it's over. I said, listen, this is it. She said, listen. Maybe we should all just get together. God damn it. She's a, hey, listen, time out. And that's, and, and that for those of you listening at home, <laughs> that is always what you do. Mm -hmm. I don't care. That's how you resolve it. That is the way out. That was it. Because there is no way out once it get like that. You got to You're let face them face, face Everybody it. Everybody face to face. And, and deal with this in real life action. And she got to see it. And she got to see she it. She was got me going wild. Because right when they see it, they could be like, okay, this bitch bad. I'm, I'm tripping. So, I said, all right, cool, let's do it. So now we all on three, we're all on, she's on speakerphone, and we talk, and it's just a general conversation. He was like, yeah, so um, when did you guys take your pill? He was like, oh, like 45 minutes ago. She was like, girl, how do you feel? I mean, I feel good. I feel good. She was like, I feel great, girl. Just give it some more minutes, and we'll be on the same level. Right, D? I was like, yeah. All of us, we're just vibing, right? I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, this is dope. I said, listen, I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. We can meet up tomorrow. Cool? Cool. Hey, girl, have a good night, girl. Okay, girl, bye. Nigga, we, have a, we stay up all night. We're talking all night. All night long, nigga. Morning light. Get up. Fucking head hurt. Fucking Hung. I don't know what the fuck I feel. It's just a horrible drainage. Come down. It's horrible. Yeah, it's bad. The inner side of my cheek is fucking chew up. I've been chewing on my fucking jaw all fucking night. I'm like, God damn. So I was like, uh, you out of there, bro? So babe. So today we gonna meet with a girl. I'm not meeting with that bitch. <laughs> Ooh, I knew it. I. I know. Just told you, yeah, you thought I'm it. I'm not meeting with that bitch. That's your bitch. That's that's. It. I'm like, you know what? I gotta stop this because because it was becoming too. It was it was too easy to fall into. So I gotta cut her off. I had to cut her off, dog. Literally erase her number and forget it. She was that bad, but it was the drugs that took me out. That was a long ass story, but listen, I opened up. Yeah, I pre <laughs> and, and, and look, somebody listening got 
got something from that. Yeah. Cause the Cause the, I just I oh I air my I put it out there. And anybody that, and like you, you've taken it before, you know everything I'm saying. That's true about that. Man, look, I'm telling I'm tell you what happens the first time I took the shit. I'm gonna tell you about ecstasy. Ecstasy you going to fight it, Sire. You going to has it. has more of a, an aggressive approach when it hits your system. Ecstasy hits your system and says, "Hey, mm. we fucking somebody tonight. tonight. Right now. You gotta know who you going to line up with. But, get but, to somebody. but your courage goes through the roof. Your swag. Oh my god. Most of the time you be like, "Hey, I can't do this. I I don't got the money to talk to. I don't I'm not about no no no. When that X out getting your system, Pink Monkey downtown a underground club. Houston. Houston. I'm, I'm down there. I done I done got down there. We popping. We, you know, what you do is you go to the black club, then you go to Pink Monkey. And that's where all the girls that's that's really about it, they go after hours and they gon' they gon' they gon' it's on. They in there, they own you. That's why you go in the pink monkey. They gonna grab you. Okay. So we down there, girl. I got all on me grinding. <sighs> Estevez. Mm. Last name Estevez. First name Ashley. Ashley. She sound bad. Then what? Certain girls just the name sound bad. Listen, man. Ashley Estevez. This bitch gonna be bad when she turn twelve. Mama German. Daddy Dominican. Let's do next. Military baby. Raised in Germany, speak German. Long brown curly hair. All her. All her. Green eyes. Stop. Titties perfect. I'm telling you about perfect titties. Skin complexion. Skin complexion. I would put her above caramel, but before yellow bone. That's a good that's a good mix. That's like that's right there. That's a good mix. We kicking it. We down there. She come up to me, start talking to me, talking about, I love your hair. Ashley Yeah. Hits me with the, you know who you remind me oh, of? Oh, shit. You remind me of my homeboy, but you look like Genuine. And Genuine was hot at the time. You already know what year it is. My pony? <laughs> we second album. Oh, second album, okay. Yeah. My, we pet. jeans, in his yeah. jeans. Yeah. He in his jeans. Yeah. At the time, I just had got my hair twisted back. So I'm feeling like I got that swag. Right. I got a FUBU denim top and bottom on. White FUBU t-shirt. Timberlands. But let me tell you about my FUBU denim outfit, y'all. It fades from yellow <laughs> to denim at the kneecap. I got you. I got you. That's where we are. Yeah. I'm big boy Fat Albert on the back. Oh, but my fat Albert got glitter in his eyes, and an afro that's got some more glitter on the outside. You ain't got that around here. Went to that flea market. Okay. Found that long knockoff silver chain. I'm in there. So she up on me. I got a visor flipped upside down, turned backwards. Yeah, flip that. Yeah. Ooh. Dipset did that. Hey, Dipset. hey, when they did that, it was on. So she up on me. We dancing. She was like, here, open your mouth, take this, puts that XO in my mouth. Immediately that shit started dissolving in my mouth. She's shoveling the pineapple juice and the orange juice on me. I'm up here like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm going with it. We dance till six in the morning. Absolutely. Absolutely I'm, you're gonna dance. I'm dancing. Absolutely you're gonna dance. Listen, I'm dancing. She dancing with other niggas. Don't I'm fuck. dancing with other dance. bitches. We dance, dancing. I said. We dancing. At one point, I'm behind her. She right in front of me, and a nigga is on the front of her. Well, fuck! Don't give a Dance. fuck. We dancing. Bro. We dancing. Dancing. Damn. So we get out of there. We go to IHOP. We talk for about three hours. She was like, about I everything. About everything. Yeah. About life. You know what I'm saying? I seen tears hit her eyes. I'm like, look, I'm I'm feeling you. You feeling me? We need to get, we need to go somewhere. She was like, well, I, I, I live with my mom. I mean, she's cool, but, you know, strange people. I just don't feel comfortable bringing people home like that. I said, hey, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I go to the Scott Inn. I get a room for $60. I go lay that motherfucking pipe lining. 
I'm hanging dick. <laughs> you know how much dick got? You gotta be like, here, throw, it's, it's coming on your side. Walking dick walk, in walk, there. Walk the dick in. Yeah, hey, I'm in there going to work. We get up, we hit that French's chicken, get that King special. That's five wings and some fries. If you don't know, with a strawberry soda, we sip that. I'm sitting out there. Again, friend from junior high. Hey, Bill, what up, boy? Billo. I'm, yeah, we out here. Man, this nigga, he, and he one of the niggas from the south side that's got to talk loud. Right. I see you, boy. Boy, I see you. Hey, boy, you got them yellows with you, man. Where she from, man? Hey, he walk up. You, you got a sister, cousin, anything? Right. She was like, no, nah, um, she nothing. Man, I get back to that crib. Drop her off, get home. I'm realizing at this point, I'm still coked up. Okay. I got drugs in my system. Oh, yeah, you got the Cause see, this the thing. When you take Molly or ecstasy, that cocaine is what keep you up. Yeah. I'm up. Who calls me? Five times. Pop, my daddy. Hey man, Saturday, man. You know, I know you ain't do nothing for God this weekend, man. <laughs> So, so he wants me to go to six o'clock Saturday service. I just dropped this girl off at four thirty. It's five fifteen. I know I got drugs in my system. Right. She been shoveling them goddamn pills on me. How many pills have you taken, man? I'm, I've taken four or four at this point. <laughs> Do y'all understand? Hold on. Let me just pause you for one second. Do you understand? This nigga is Bobby Whitney high at this point. <laughs> Alpha four. Nigga, this nigga could run the country. Listen. 30 days. 30 days no sleep. Or full goddamn mind. And, and everything, every, no, this, this is just ecstasy. Oh, so, uh, this is just ecstasy. So, I'm, my eyes is big. I'm big eye. And I'm going into the house of the Lord. Full FUBU unit. Same one that I had Same on in the goddamn York. fit that poor Ashley Estevez. Look. Now you in the house of the Lord. I'm in the house of that Lord. Oh. Uh, that benediction. They don't even come out with the past. The past don't even come out. They go eight songs. Nigga, song five. I'm full of tears in that bitch. <laughs> I want to get my life back. I want to give it back. I want to give my life back. I want to give my life I want to give my life back. I don't want to do this no more. Look, I done had three prayers. I can't stop crying, D-Lay. <laughs> I want to get my life back. Hey, they done laid the cloth on me. I'm laid down <laughs> between two pews, stretched out. Foo-foo-boo. <laughs> Timberlands <laughs> up. Who I feel on, nigga? Hey, the <laughs> usher, the usher. I'm like, hey, I've been through this before. We got to cock his feet up. He needs some pressure. <laughs> the blood ain't flowing to him. I want to be right. <laughs> yeah. Look. Shit. His voice emotional. Look, I'm crying in that bitch. People come and praying over me. My daddy, I told you, you got to let it go. <laughs> it's going to be all right. The boy got problems. You know, my son, an honor student down there, he, he fighting his way through down there. <laughs> so, look, I'm crying. I get walked out of there. I am exhausted from this praise and cry. Praise and cry. I didn't say it. I didn't call my daddy about my drug habit. It's okay. It's okay to happen to all of us. <laughs> that, that opened up. It, hey, we all get caught slipping. Look, look, I'm in there, man. I'm promising the because what they do is once you when you get when you when you get in a session like that, they bring you to another room and they first want to make you join. But I've been a member of this church my whole life, so now they counsel me. Well, you know, what's your problem? What do you need to let go? We'll pray for it right now. Six. I, I just need it. <laughs> so so the dude, man, I know this nigga ain't been saved long, and he was not trained for this shit. Because he hit me with this. This nigga told a lady at the church, sex, I just need it. So what the, the fuck you say as a lady of the Lord at that point? Hey, so the, so the lady. Bow your head. Look, the lady was like, I'm going to step out. I'm going to let you talk to Mr. Nunley by yourself. So Mr. Nunley, he he hits me with this. She walks out the room. I'm in there. He hit me with this. I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma. 
I know all about what you're going through. <laughs> the drug and sex craze. I've been all ah, over it. I know exactly what you're going through. Hey, man. Hey, don't let this road fool you, man. I got demons too, man. Some of them walking around this church. I want to do something to them when I see them. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, ah. I'm like, nigga, what? You can't be serious. So I get out of there. My daddy, he in the truck waiting on me. He said, hey, man, see, don't you feel better? I knew something was on you, man. You got to get it off you, man. So he take me to get some wings. We get some wings from this wing and rice place. I'm eating them wings. That goddamn phone light up. Ashley Estevez. Now I'm trying to break away from daddy. Because my daddy done already got in his mind. I'm going home with him to his house so he can keep counseling me because I got a narcotic sex, sex binge I've been on. <laughs> so, it, when you said Samsung phones, it reminded me because mine would vibrate heavy. It was like a heavy vibrating phone. So it vibrated hard, and then she started lighting that picture mill up. Picture mill that just got lit. She lighting that picture mill she up. She's sending them through that. She's sending them through that. Them titties. She started with them titties. Then a full body. Uh, they grainy, low resolution. Right. right. 120 gigabytes. That's big shit. But, right. but, but you know what's going on. <laughs> you know what? It's 120 gigabytes, but you know what's happening. So I'm trying to get away from my daddy. I'm like, hey, man, I got I to gotta get back to the college, man. Uh, my roommate locked out. Oh, uh, man, shit, he be all right till tomorrow, won't he? No, 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 I got to get over there now. Well, should I drive you over there? Fuck. I was like, shit, I got to get back to this car. I got to get to this Dominican, German. I got to get to some way. I said, Dad, stop the car. He said, what's wrong, man? I got drugs on me. I need to get away. <laughs> And I think I got drugs in my car. I need to get back to my car, and I need to go get those drugs out of there because the car is on church ground. And if they find out that them drugs is on that car, they going to take me to jail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got to understand, that's how powerful drugs and the bad bitch is. This nigga has concocted a whole story to evade his daddy. Nigga. Whatever it takes. So get your ass to ask look, ass when she got them pills, nigga. So I'm trying to get back to that car. Man, he get me back to that car. He was like, all right, man, well, look, move the car, take the stuff to the dumpster. I said, we can't dump it on church. They're gonna dump the dumpster. And if they find it in the dumpster, then what? All right. All right. Okay, well, look, I'm gonna drive down. You just beat me at the gas station. I'm gonna follow you in. I was like, all right. Nigga, I get in that car. And I drive past my old man so fast. <laughs> Hey, look, I had my right turn signal on and made that left. And it took him like maybe 500 yards to realize, oh, shit. He turned around to come behind me. I'm running to this freeway. I got to get to this goddamn freeway this and lose this nigga on this 16. Right. Man, I get on this freeway. I open that motherfucking car up, nigga. I'm, I'm gone. I get over there, man, to this girl house, man. I get this. She in Sugar Land. I get to Sugar Land. I pull up. Knock on that door. A mama answers the door. I'm talking. I'm saying, how you doing, ma'am? I'm here for Ashley. I just, oh, well, you know, Ashley told me you would be coming by to see her. So good to see you. She's smoking a cigarette. She smokes a cigarette. She'll be out in a minute. Mama talking. You're so, you're so cute. I could see what she sees. And you remind me of somebody I used to talk to when I was young. I was like, oh, ma'am, thank you. You find yourself. She's sitting there. She got some little shorts on. And that Ashley come out. She got that towel wrapped around her. Ooh. Fresh out that shower. She said, come on, come in the back. I want to talk to you. And I looked her dead in the eye, and I said, did you miss me? Oh, nigga. We out of here, man. Hey, man, that was good. We out. Feel good about it.